the waters have receded and the banks of the Vltava River are visible again. Prague hasn't seen this type of flooding since 2002 when 17 people were killed, thousands were evacuated and the city was left with billions of dollars in damages. At Prague's Old Town Square, the streets are buzzing full of energetic and noisy tourists who have come to see Prague's 600-year-old astronomical clock and, of course, to see the Charles Bridge in its full glory. There doesn't seem to be any signs of a flood. So who started these stories? It was basically just from the media, because I live uphill and my parents live uphill and the hotel is not uphill, but it wasn't reached by the flood, so it was just from, from the news. The media reported that the flooding would be just as bad as in 2002, which caused for most Fusion guests to cancel reservations. But at the end of the day, the Czech are happy. I'm just happy for my city that it survived without much harm. After the flood of 2002, the Czech government invested $150 million in an anti-flood system to protect the city. Prague is seen as a revenue generator because of the large amounts of tourists that travel here each year. From the look of things, that investment paid off. This is Kevin Roberson reporting from Prague for the Patriot Act.nl.